Want to hear a good story? Go to Bike Week at Daytona. Hang out in the infield and you may get more than you bargained for. Plenty of great stories to tell at Bike Week as well. Like that of veteran superbike rider Larry Pegram. His career nearly ended before it began. However, there are some you can't hold back. And Larry definitely fits that category. Larry Pegram, who had an amazing career in amateur dirt track racing, Pegram was quickly on his way to a factory ride in AMA road racing until 1993 at Phoenix International Raceway. Oh, and a big crash in the NASCAR Turn 3 area. That is Larry Pegram. Larry Pegram follows him in, loses the front end in the oil. Suffering a broken leg, knee, and hip, Larry's future in racing was in question as riding contracts disappeared. In an effort to prove that he could win in AMA competition, Larry continued racing with mixed results. Then in 1999, Larry nabbed his first career American Superbike win at Willow Springs. But it wasn't all rosy. His racing continued to be a struggle as a result from his Phoenix crash years earlier. After I hit that wall, it wasn't mentally never the same, it was just physically. I couldn't move around on the bike. People used to say, oh, why doesn't he hang off the bike? Well, I couldn't. My leg, I literally had lost all the range of motion in my hip. I was just on that, you know, I was a seventh, eighth place guy. You know, I was on a good day a fourth place guy. And I had a sponsor that owned uh, Thrasher Skateboard Magazine, and he said to me, hey, I got this skater that we sponsored that had this experimental hip surgery done. They were only doing it on athletes. I fit perfect. My insurance paid for it and I had the surgery done between 2004 and 2005 right when I was starting my own team. After more than a year of physical rehab while continuing to race, Larry searched for that winning formula and that search brought him back to racing the Italian machinery. With two full seasons in the Formula Extreme class aboard a Ducati, he made his return to the American Superbike class in 2009, which had been dominated by the rock star Makita Suzuki team and Matt Maladdon. When the series made its stop at Road America, Larry was in a head-to-head -head battle with the six-time champion, who was on his way to title number seven. Man, you blink your eye, and that Ducati just comes blowing by the Suzuki, no problem. Pegram rode like he was the champ. Ten years after his only superbike win, Larry pulled into victory lane. <laughs> Fighting adversity and never giving up on his dreams, he went on to sweep the weekend at Kansas later that season. If you go talk to talk, you gotta walk the walk. Right now he's getting it done so far. And came out strong in 2010, winning at Auto Club Speedway. With Ducati restructuring its racing efforts for 2011, Pegram, along with partner Foremost Insurance, has made the switch to BMW, now bringing the German mark into the spotlight of America's premier motorcycle road racing championship. After very strong pre-season testing, Pegram is excited about the new challenge and wants to prove he can win again. Lee Diffie reporting there. He will call the action here tomorrow night, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, races one and two for AMA Superbike 2011.